Hello, Augies Worldwide. I'm Dave Kassler, amateur radio call sign KE0OG, here with another episode, number 264 of Ask Dave. Today we're out on a beautiful, beautiful spring day. Don't know what tomorrow brings. Somebody is saying snow, but it's sure gorgeous today. Thought what I'd do today is take the uh, Alpha Delta DXEE antenna, put it back up, which I have right over there, and see if we can adjust the 40 meter end of it to bring it in so it can cover the general band on 40 meters. Well, I was successful, and I'll show you how I did that. Uh, we'll take a look, first of all, at the uh, actual way you unwrap the ends of the thing and uh, can change the distance, not by very much. We ended up moving the ends in by about an inch and a half. I did an inch, two inches, and then had to backtrack uh, to get it there. And it's very sensitive to minor changes in adjustment, but you can get it kind of centered in the uh, general portion of the band. And then I took my MFJ meter where I can find exactly the corners of that, and I'll give you a little chart that uh, uh, goes with that. Let's take a look. Here from Ask Dave episode 248 is a picture of the antenna in an inverted V configuration. Uh, there are a 10 meter section 15, 20, and 40. Notice that the 40 meter extension is extremely short. And there's a trap there, which not only traps out the 20 meters, but also provides loading on 40 meters. The problem with that is you end up with a very narrow band antenna on 40 meters. And when we got the uh, antenna, it was uh, tuned more for the CW band than the upper band. I got my rig expert tuner out and uh, took a look at it and decided to see if I couldn't shorten the 40 meter section on each side by an inch. And that moved up the uh, resonant frequency, but not high enough. So I did it another inch and that overdid it. So what I'm gonna show is video of me backing off an inch and it shows you how to, to deal with that wire. It's very thick, heavy wire. Let's take a look at the testing results I obtained with my MFJ259B SWR analyzer so I could get some good frequencies here. On the graph you'll see at the bottom this is the 40 meter band from 7 to 7.3 megahertz. And SWR is on the uh, left side there going from 1 up to 4. The green line is the 2 to 1 line. The red line is the 3 to 1 line. Now, uh, most modern radios that have internal tuners can tune up to a 3 to 1 SWR. So this is your effective bandwidth for that. And in the tweaking that I did, I got it to where it was just about 11 kilohertz shy of covering the entire uh, voice band. Um, I got, it gets about th uh, 3 point. Three, I think it was. But uh, I hit 3 to 1 at 7.125, which is the start of the extra band uh, voice. Uh, and 7.175 uh, is the start of general band voice. And you've got the rest of the band. So you can see that with this antenna, you can cover uh, very nearly all of the voice band. And it may just be that your antenna tuner can take care of that last little gasp right up at the very top end of 40 meters. Now I want you to notice on the other hand that the CW band is uh, 3 to 1 or substantially higher. And uh, when you're trying, uh, for example, FT8, you'll find that you have uh, fairly high SWR on that. You either need an external tuner or hope that your internal, internal tuner can cover the difference. But this shows that the antenna is useful. It is an option for people who uh, have limited space. It's only 40 feet long plus whatever uh, rope you have to put up at the ends. And uh, it's certainly a sturdily built antenna as I have shown before. So I just thought I'd put this kind of in our back pocket 
uh, for use as an antenna if we're looking for something on 40. Uh, it works great on 20 meters. It's under 2 to 1 SWR across the band. So there is our um, DXEE Alpha Delta Antenna Redux. We got it tuned so that it covers the voice band rather than the CW band and we took off about an inch and a half at each end. Note that every little bit makes a big difference so tune and test, tune and test, tune and test, tune and test until you get it exactly where you want it. The test conditions here are in the form of an inverted V with the apex at 20 feet. And so there we have it with this scenery today. I don't even feel a need to toot my own horn, but you can still go to decastlercom slash support. And oh, by the way, if you have any really cool sound clips of horns, send them to hamradioanswers at gmail.com. You might find uh, your horn showing up on uh, one of the videos. Until we next meet, 73.